Hi everyone. I have a problem today. I have this great photo on my iPad mini and I want to transfer it to my Android tablet. So there's a couple different ways I could do this, right? I could email it to myself or use a cloud storage solution like Dropbox or something, but that's the easy way. We're gonna do it the ham radio way, which in this case is much more complicated. Uh, it's gonna drop the resolution, but it's gonna be a lot more fun. Let's get going. So in order to send images using a ham radio, like this Baofeng UV5R, I'm gonna use something called Slow Scan Television, SSTV. SSTV's been around a long time. It basically breaks images down into noise using FM modulation, frequency modulation. So it can be transferred over the air. Now, astronauts did this, uh, uh, NASA used it for Apollo missions. We've seen SSTV images from all over space at different points in time. And amateurs still use SSTV today. In fact, if you go to the 20 meter band, 14.23, and you set up a SSTV decoder, uh, you'll get images every day, no problem. Amateurs use it to communicate with each other. One will send an image with CQ on it, meaning I want to contact, he'll send that out. Somebody will respond with another image saying their call sign, and they'll actually rate the quality of the first image. It's basically a signal report. Well. Then back goes another image. It's a three, four image exchange, but you get the point and it's an official contact. You can actually log it in Logbook of the World and count it towards your AARL awards like Worked All States and uh, uh, CCDX. So anyway, we're gonna use it today. I'm gonna use my Baofeng. I'm gonna use my Kenwood. We're gonna get this set up. So let's take a look at what you need to send SST images. First of all, if you're gonna send it to yourself like I am, you need two devices and two radios. But if you're just sending it to a friend, you need a device, you need a radio, and if you can connect your radio to your device using a specialty cable uh, that transmits and receives audio through the device to the radio, that's better. It's not necessary, you can use the speaker and the mic uh, on the device, but having a cable will probably improve the results a little bit. So on the send side, I'm gonna use the iPad mini where my photo is. I'm gonna use my Baofeng UV5R and a cable that I bought to do APRS, which uh, audio links my radio to my iPad. On the receive side, I'm gonna use my Kenwood THD74 radio. Uh, I think it's got a slightly better receive unit probably a better speaker, so I'll probably get better results. I'm just gonna have the noise come out of the speaker and have the, uh, the Android tablet decode it. On the iPad side, I'm using software called SSTV. It has an encoder and a decoder, so you can use it on both sides. On the Android, I'm using something called Robot 36, I believe. Uh, it's a free software and it will decode SSTV images uh, using either the microphone or a cable if you have an input cable. Since I'm using VHF frequencies, you also need at least a technician's class license. If you're going to use HF, like on the 20 meter band, you'd need at least a general license. Okay, so the SSTV software is going to break the image down into 240 scan lines and RGB color, red, green, blue. It's going to use FM modulation to convert it into noise, that sounds like. And that's what's gonna go over the air. And then my Kenwood is gonna receive that. It's going to decode it using the software on the Android and then I'm gonna have the image on the Android. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I've got my cable plugged into my Baofeng. It's set to 146.58, which is a uh, simplex channel. And I've got the power set to low and I've got the Vox, the voice activation turned on so that when my the uh, speaker or the output of my iPad starts screaming, it'll start transferring. Let's start. All right.
Yeah, so that didn't work. So for some reason, uh, the Baofeng plus the iPad plus this cable uh, and being voice activation on the Baofeng was causing intermittent transmissions. In other words, it was keying and unkeying the mic like in pulses. It was really weird. Uh, even when I unplugged it from the iPad, it was and there was no sound coming from the iPad, it was still uh, keying and unkeying the mic. So I don't know what the problem was. I tried to troubleshoot it there on the spot and, uh, and continue the video, but I ran out of time. So I'm back and, and since then I figured out what it is. Basically, uh, this combo of iPad plus Baofeng plus voice activation plus this cable uh, doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap radios. I'm gonna transmit with the iPad, the photo uh, on the iPad and, and transmit with my Kenwood and I'll receive with the Baofeng uh, into the Android tablet. So let's give it another try. This time it should work. All right, so let's start by announcing on frequency that we're gonna be doing an SSTV test. K4 BBL testing SSTV, K4 BBL testing SSTV. So we've got the receive unit set up there and we've got the transmit it, transmitting set up here with the Kenwood and the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and hit transmit image and hope this works. That's it, success. K4 BBL SSTV test over. K4 BBL clear. Awesome, so we've got the image on the Android. Uh, it's a lot lower resolution, it's got some text on it, but hey, I actually did the transfer. That's awesome. All right, so the more astute of you might, uh, might be saying, Hey Brian, why didn't you just blast the sound out of the iPad and uh, use the mic on the on the Android tablet to uh, just transfer the image that way. You could have done it without ham radio. And you're absolutely right, but what kind of ham radio video would that make? Okay, so let's talk about the practical uses of SSTV. Uh, I guess uh, you and a friend could blast images back and forth using your phone or tablet and handheld radios uh, locally over, the, over a couple miles uh, using UHF or, or VHF. Uh, you could use a repeater to extend that range, although I'd ask the repeater owner first. Some people might get annoyed with that uh, noise coming over the repeaters. I have heard that some local clubs or repeaters actually have SSTV nets. That's a scheduled time when they all get together and they swap photos over the repeater. If you happen to know of one of those nets uh, in your area, go ahead and put it in the comments so other people can find it. Uh, that's all pretty cool. But by and large, there's almost no SSTV activity uh, on UHF and VHF. The real action's on HF. And like I said, on 20 meters, you can go to 14.23. Here, SSTV all the time, and it's great. You can set up a decoder and get all kinds of images. There's also activity on 40 meters, but it seems like 20 meters is the more busy. You can actually go online and search uh, HF SSTV, and people will have... Uh, They'll have like a live uh, website where their latest images that they received off of uh, high frequency, 20 meters, uh, they post it online. So you can see the images coming in from somebody else's radio. So that's pretty neat too. So SSTV is a file transfer method, not that great. As a way to uh, share photos over short distances, I guess you can, but uh, really uh, the action's on HF. So get your general ticket, get, your, get an HF radio and have fun with SSTV. I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it.